Okay, this is a video on IELTS Academic Writing Task 1. All right, uh, the writing task one for academics is different from the writing task one for general training. The academic IELTS requires you to do um, yeah, basically graphs, maps, process, diagrams, tables, etc. And to compare, to describe, and to compare uh, this. Uh, maybe one or two of them uh, within in um, 20 minutes. You're given about 20 minutes and you have to write about at least 150 words. The um, task one for general training is a letter, which is much easier, and that's in a different video for those students who are taking general training. Right? So this is for academic students, academic IELTS students, and it's a bit more intensive uh, in terms of the what you have to do because there are different kinds of task ones that you could be given, all right? Um, you have to study for all of them because you don't know which one is going to come out. But let me just go through the four different types. Firstly, there's a graph with a time period, all right? When I talk about graph, I could mean also a diagram, uh, a table, a pie, ch a pie chart, okay? Um, whatever it may be, it is one with a time period, meaning there are many years, okay? Um, let me give you an example. So this is one with time period, okay? Um, you see for all of this, I give you some of this in your actual, in the Google Drive for you to actually do for every week. And the way this is done is that every week I'll give you one to do. And um, you, you have four, if, for those of you who are taking four, four weeks of IS University classes, there will be one for task one for each week, okay? And this is the first week. Um, this is um, the one with the time period. So as you can see, okay, you may not be able to see very clearly, but there are different years, okay? All these are different years. So, um, so years go by, the particular whatever you're measuring goes up or down all right so all this now the same thing for table you see you could have different years it's just not it's just in a table form so it's it's um the way i divide it and the way most teachers divide it is uh, a graph or table or pie chart or um bar graph or whatever it may be with a time period and one that without a time period that only maybe has only one year because as i said this is exactly the same as this is just in different format. This one just has a line, whereas this is in a, this is in a table format. It's a bit more difficult to read, okay, in a table format. Um, but you are talking about a time period, and the reason why I'm emphasizing this, uh, you, later you'll know, okay, because you approach it differently, right? So if the first one is a graph of a time period, many years, you approach it differently from a graph or pie chart, pi, uh, bar graph, table without a time period. That means just one year. Okay, and these are some um, you will you will come across. These are some of the tasks you will come across. The questions, whatever it may be. Normally, you only have like this is this is only one year, two thousand nine. You see, there's no two thousand and ten, eleven, twelve. So it is not. You're not talking about changes over time. You are talking about you are you're really um, addressing um, just in that year, and then. Um, different things regarding this okay but it's not about changes over time uh, because there's no time period okay so this again this is just in one year 2009 all right okay um, so okay one year okay so those are this is the second one without a time period okay um, then there's a process you are this you are called to describe a process Okay, as you can see, these are all processes. Met could be man-made, could be natural, and you are basically what you have, we should be doing is describing it. Okay, you should be describing it. Um, not so much of comparing, just describing what's happening, what comes first. A process is something that happens over time. Okay, so this happens, then after that, this happens, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, okay, and then for maps you could be asked two things number one is to describe the difference between this is where you between two maps okay um, or you could talk about two different location within a map s1 s2 all right um, let me just say that for um, so process and maps so for these two 
you have a lot of information and it's very difficult to um you you will have to you have to make a choice make a decision what am i going to focus on all right um and let me just go to the question because i think some of this has the questions there okay so like for example like this okay summarize the information this is the, the the same question okay the first part is always different but this is always the same in ielts writing task one for academic uh, summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant so this is the question for all of it what you need to take note of is the main features because in times where there are so many things so many features there the examiner wants to look at them wants you to address the main features not everything okay you you can't just say oh okay i'm going to describe this i'm going to describe that and that, that may be small little features that are not really important no you will be um, evaluated based on whether you really focus on the main features all right uh, and then making comparisons where relevant so now what, I'm, what i was trying to say is that for these two there will be so many features that you have to pick it you have to really make a decision okay uh, you can't describe every single thing if not it will take it could take two three four hundred words all right um, whereas for process and maps, um, what normally happens is that uh, you you it is very difficult for some students to go beyond 150 words. There's not a lot of information there that if you describe every single thing, some students still find it difficult to go beyond 150 words. All right. So um, this one basically you should be describing everything. This one you have to you have to you have to take note of just focusing on the main features. All right. Okay. Now let's look at the structure of how you're going to approach this all right again as i mentioned to you in writing task two things are going to be uh, different teachers will teach different ways and they will structure it differently okay this is one very common kind of uh, way you structure your ielts writing task one um so this is a structure you have your introduction which is your first paragraph by the way this is number one two three four paragraph okay so first paragraph will be your introduction which could be one sentence or two sentences all right then you have your overview now overview is important because it's actually in the criteria in 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 the markings uh, rubric that the examiners have uh, so you have to have an overview what is an overview an overview is looking at it at a, from a big picture point of view don't get into the details all right no details no figures no numbers the figures the details the numbers is when you do it in the body okay so overview could be one or two sentences uh, oh, sorry, the introduction, did I tell you what introduction? The introduction is basically a paraphrase of the question, okay? A paraphrase of the question. So, um, the question could be this, this, this is, well, this is the one I told you is always constant, but this is the thing that changes, so you just paraphrase this, okay? Write it in your own words, just like in writing task two. Okay, so that will be the introduction, one sentence. Overview, again, let's do it this way. Paraphrase the question, okay. Overview is the big picture view, okay. No details, figures, numbers, okay. Here is where you have your details, your figures, your numbers. Okay, this is where you do it in the body, uh, body one and body two. Now, body one and body two will have about maybe three to five sentences each. Okay, so this is a structure for all of this. This is not just for the first one, but it's for all of this. Okay, so the principles uh, here, the introduction, you paraphrase a question, the overview, one to two sentences, you you provide a big picture view, no figures, no, de no details, no figures, no numbers, because, you know, I always tell my students, imagine you have the particular, um, diagram right before you and you have your friend opposite away from you who cannot look at this diagram or this table or this graph or whatever it may be you can look at it and you can look at the whole thing but your friend cannot and just within one or two sentences maximum you are going to tell your friend what this is about now if you only have one to two sentences and the purpose is to tell your friend what this is about you are not going to focus on one part you are not going to focus on just one. You are going to see what are the things that you can, you know, talk about that will give them a clear picture of this whole graph within one or two sentences. Okay, so you won't just be focusing on one part, and 
when you focus on one part, you focus on that you know different parts in the body, all right, in the body, and that's when you get to details and figures and numbers. But in the overview, no, you don't do that. Okay, uh, you don't focus on the details. Now I will go through more specifically how you can you can do all these for all four of them. All right, um, so. Introduction, overview, body, you go to details and numbers, all right? So for the first two types, as I mentioned, you will need to choose what to write as you won't have time to write about everything within 20 minutes and 150 plus words, okay? You you have to choose, you have to pick and choose, okay? Remember the main features. We talk about the main features here, okay? This is important for the first two. Uh, for the third and fourth types, many students find it difficult to write more than 150 words, so bear this in mind as you write. Most likely, you need to write about everything in the diagram or whatever it may be, okay? In the process, in the map, all right? Okay, so this is basically the introduction to uh, task one. Uh, by the way, there is no opinion. Do not give any opinion or suggestion or recommendation, okay? In task one, you should not be doing that. Task one is purely descriptive and comparative. You are going to describe and you're going to compare where relevant. Uh, you are not going to give any opinion. Don't say, oh, uh, this, um, don't say something like, oh, you see, uh, Robbie's Bakery, um, the yearling car Robbie's Bakery increased dramatically in 2007 to 2008 because of this particular reason, or it slowed down because it was there was a recession, or because people st started to, um, to to eat other kind of uh, things, or there was a new bakery in town. Of course, I mean, you do not know all this, and it's not mentioned here, so don't speculate, don't think that, oh, uh, this is the reason why, you're not asked for reasons why, you're not asked for your opinion, you're not asked to give recommendations or suggestions or kind of like, you know, input your view here. You're just asked to, basically it says here, report the main features and make comparisons, that's all. Okay, so that's very different from task two. The moment you start inputting your opinions, uh, the examiner is not going to uh, like it at all. Okay, so task one, no opinions, no suggestions, recommendations, whatever for task one. Just purely describe and compare what you see, the main features of what you see. Okay, so uh, I will continue on with a video for each of the other um, the different tasks. Um, and just uh, remember that, uh, well, out of all the four, you could get any one of them, okay? Um, for those who have who've done your IELTS before, maybe you realize that, you know, you have gotten different kinds of uh, writing task one, all right? Um, but you could get any one of them, but this is the most common, okay? I would say the line, what you call a graph of a time period or a line graph, it is the most common. Um, I don't know what the percentage is, maybe 50-60%. Probably this is the second most common without time period and then after that comes these two. But you have to study for everything, but just focus a lot on this because very often this will come out. Alright?